me. I told him, I said, you need to take my clothes off. He took my clothes off. A bizarre encounter with a UNC Greensboro student. Now two girls are scared for their safety after one came home to her off campus apartment on Saturday to find a man inside of her closet wearing her clothes. Andrew Swafford faced a judge for the first time today, but those girls are rightfully rattled. Yeah, Fox 8's Haley Fixler has been on this story today. She's live outside the Summit at the Edge apartment complex in Greensboro. Haley, those girls, I understand, are moving out right now. They are. They feel violated and too scared to even sleep in their own beds. And when I spoke with one of them today, she was so afraid she asked us not to show her face on TV. Since I've been living here, I've been like having pieces of clothes missing, like shirts, pants, items disappearing and prints left behind. I have a handprint on my bathroom wall, like and on my mirror. But it wasn't until Saturday that Maddie, a junior at UNCG, uncovered a mystery that she and her roommates thought was a ghost. And I just hear rattling in my closet like it sounds like a raccoon is in my closet. Put my hand on the knob and I'm like, who's in here? And if somebody answers me, he's like, oh, my name's Drew. So I open the door and he's in there wearing all of my clothes, my socks, my shoes, has a book bag full of my clothes. Police say that was 30 year old Andrew Swafford, the same man you see appearing via video conference from the Guilford County Jail. He had these pants on, like actually on his body. Maddie called her boyfriend and as she calmly waited for help, she talked with Swafford to keep him distracted. After he tries on my hat, goes to my bathroom, looks in his in the mirror. He asked like, he was like, you're really pretty. Can I hug you? But he never touched me. The big question the girls are trying to get answered, how he got inside. They tell me their doors are always locked and they did not see any damage to them. But what really scares the girls is that men have entered their apartment before. It was two guys in the living room. That was December 19th. The girls alerted the leasing office. An employee confirmed they changed the locks at that time, but did not file a police report. I was told that is standard protocol, but Maddie and her roommate say they can't take it anymore. Last night, I did not feel safe. I slept with my roommate in her bed. I can't stay here like my closet. It stinks. <laughs> I don't like every time I go in there, it's like uh, I just like it's a bad vibe. That's why I'm ready to just leave. Berkeley Communities, the property management company, tells me they're going through all of the details, trying to figure out how something like this happened and how Swafford got inside the unit. Now, I did look inside of his criminal history and found he's facing 14 felony charges, including larceny and identity theft. And tonight, he remains inside of the Guilford County Jail. Live in Greensboro, Haley Fixler, Fox 8 News. It's just downright scary, Haley, especially with no signs of a forced entry. We'll definitely stay on the story. Thank you.